things like this, you know, it's a vlog. Oh, we are off to Nens today, which is a bit later than we thought because we had a very busy weekend today. We are up to Edinburgh and Glasgow, but the plan was to leave last night from work. However, there's a massive um, closure on the M11, I think it was, and it was closed till about seven-ish, so we was like, you know what, we'll just come to the hearse and drop a few bits off and then get on our way today. So, should have left probably about three-ish, I think it's probably now, but quarter four, but it's fine. It's detouring me to Cambridge Services, which is the services that I love, so. I feel like there might be a little coffee stop on the way up. Food or just coffee? No, no, no. I don't want to do food. We've got a snack, but I don't want to because Nan's told me this. Uh, Nan's got bacon, sausage and peas pudding out for us. Oh, my God. I myself out and sit there. Oh, God. Well, we've got a couple of snacks, guys. We've got some um, <laughs> cookies and crisps and that just for the little thing. But I think definitely we'll have a little stop on Cambridge Services for... Starbucks maybe? I've got to remember if it's Starbucks or Costa there. I can't remember guys. But yes, we are off to see Nan today. So this is just like a little vlog seeing Nan. I don't really know what we're going to get up to really. Not a lot. But you know, hey ho. We'll take you along for the ride. And then as I say, there will be a Edinburgh slash Glasgow vlog coming. Oh god look. You can tell it's about 3 o'clock in the morning because Shan just... He's not loving life, but yeah, back in the house. Guys, I tried to set up the broadband last night. I almost launched the broadband through the um, window. So I've just turned it off. It's turned off. And I'm going to deal with it when we're back on Tuesday. So, yes, oh God, knocking everything over. But yeah, I've bought like the pain and I say pain, I bought white emulsion and some wallpaper samples. So we'll probably have a little play around Tuesday when we're back. But for now, ball band is just, <laughs> every color light was flashing except white. And you know when you just think like, I don't need this. I don't need this. So we're gonna head on the road. So you will probably see time lapses of motorways. I'll check in with you when we're getting some coffee. And then yeah, we've got a five and a half hour drive to go see Nana. But yes, see what happens today. I'm calling bacon, peas pudding, sausages. She's already got it out. And yeah, but it's just breaking dawn, so not too bad. Let's go. Oh, services start. I really like the Cambridge services, so it's just before Boxworth, and it's extra. You have McDonald's, M&S, KFC, Costa. I think there's the Burrito place. Let me just see because I haven't been in McDonald's. Burrito, El Mexicano, fresh chopsticks. I know I don't know if that all going to be open. You'll probably just get McDonald's, Costa, M&S. But yeah, if you're coming down to the services so uh, let's see what they got because I'm um, a little bit peckish I might get hash brown headlights on the highway if you only knew being back here always makes me think of you We got here and nothing's open except McDonald's. And did you know that the wrap, if you make it a meal, doesn't come with a hash brown? Which have I quickly checked on that kiosk because I would have looked to right ticket and they've been like, excuse me, I got wow. a hash brown because that's what I was <laughs> up there for. But I went for the breakfast ketchup wrap. Dan's got it in brown sauce and then we've got a cheesy flatbread each to munch on the road up and a toffee latte. But yeah, that's cheeky. How can you not get a hash brown when you make it a meal? That's not fair. That's not a meal then, really, is it? No, it's just like a drink. Hmm. But breakfast wraps, top tier. 
So yeah, even though it says open 24 hours, I think the only thing that is open here 24 hours is McDonald's. Not even Costa. And I saw a Starbucks drive through on the way up, but that wasn't open either, so. It's all good. Four hours to Nancy. Oh yeah, the arcade is always open. You can have your McDonald's while you're on the bed machine. <laughs> Four hours to Nam, drinks, got the snacks. Probably just see more time lapses. With the road lights coming back again, coming back to me. Yeah. I remember the long drives to late nights in your car. I remember it all. Windows down, empty streets, you were all. <laughs> she can see me. She's even locked me out. <laughs> Right, Nan's internet is so much better than mine. We're leaving that to, to go. It's doing a um, update. We're taking Nan to a farm shop. Taking to a farm you, shop. Look at you, her. Who are you taking to? The camera. Everyone's been asking, is it your Nan from Newcastle? I said, yes, she's back on the channel, guys. I'm from Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> from Newbiggin. Newbiggin, difference there, guys. But see, Nan's coat is matching my hair. So yes, we're off to a farm shop. Never been there before, so this is going to be interesting. And then we're going to go for a little bit of lunch on the seafront. Maybe we can have a look in that homeware shop. The, new, the nice new one. Sausage and mustard. Right, so we've come back from the farm shop, guys. I've got okay. one there each two of us. Great farm shop, I must okay. say. Sausage and mustard. Aye. And then I think because I got two, and then you got a sausage and mustard. Because think... I've got one for me What's and that? one for dad. That's your sausage and mustard. And then you got uh, beef. Aye, and then and then the one that say uh, Adam. Uh, Daniel take this. Did you get sausage that, and mustard as well? That must be right. So you got three packs. I've I got thought three Nan only got two. <laughs> then and me biscuits. Nan got crackers. My crackers and me patty. Yep, you've got I don't know, that's honeycomb. You've got Nan got a luxury Orkney crab terrine. And a bottle. And that's your bottle of slow and rose lemonade. And that, I think that would be mine. I would that's take yours. All of mine. Yep, I think that's Three. all of yours. I'm sure that was all I got, wasn't it? Yeah, because these are oh, I didn't pork get, scratchings I didn't get and stuff for Dad. No, no. So I got one bag of crisps. I thought I got a bag of crisps for us and Dad. Well, so. I, I picked two and then 
dang on you. the other one. So the, on the other pack. Oh, that's right. For sure. It'll be like one. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. Dada and Anthony Chris. <laughs> and then we got honeycomb. Now, I don't know, Dan, did you realise that this is proper Heather honeycomb? What is it? No, what does that mean? This is, the, this is like the proper Can wild Heather. Yet? Huh? Can you eat it? What's yeah, you can called? eat it. Dan really wanted to try um, honeycomb, like proper honeycomb. Right. A chip. No, no, it's like... Oh, that's a bunch of all. It's, uh, you know, honey, but it's uh -huh. like what you get in crunches. It's honey as a crunchy uh, form. Oh, it's like the sweet. Yeah. So we've got that. we also got, these are gorgeous, Sicilian lemon oh. cannellonis. I love the hay there, because they, they've got plenty. Oh yeah, they're your snacks. Yep. Oh, Nan's hiding her prescribed. So these are the two farmers, Herefordshire they're sausage mine. and mustard. And as they're I say, mine. I thought I got two packs, one of us and Dada, but you haven't got Is one of us. Nan's got in the fridge. Yeah, that one will go in your fridge. And then me and Dan picked up two proper pork cracklings, one chorizo, That's one it. garlic. Pork scratchings, but they're garlic oh, flavoured and chorizo. Oh, I didn't see them. <laughs> and then we got a British beer mustard for Dada. Me and Dan have got a W.S. Robson's crunchy honey mustard. We're keeping with the honey theme. And then also for Dada, I got Grumpy Old Git Mints and Geordie oh, Bullets. So, yeah, and then you might think, well, what did you get, Mum? I'll actually show you... Where's my biscuits? Oh, yeah. Where's your biscuits? Your biscuits are there. What I'll do is, you'll probably see at the end... Sorry, guys, the camera died. But what I'll do is I'll actually add it... So this vlog will end, and then I'll do a little bit once I'm back home. Or it'll be in the end of the Edinburgh vlog. But I got Mum a Van Gogh mug from a little homeware store. And I also picked up... A big, I'll show you when we get thingy. I only got a couple of them bits. I done really good. There was a lot of Highland Cow stuff, but I feel like I would have trade broken if I got Highland Cow stuff, which is Scottish in Northumberland. But yeah, got a gorgeous little uh, tote bag. So it's the Blagden Farm Shop Watch Butchery and Bakehouse. If you're in the area, definitely give it a go. It was, it was a nice little thing, wasn't it? Um, All different styles. I had a little tea room. Bit where you could get your lunch. Coffee room. Uh, art gallery. Home shop. shop. And then a clothes shop. We didn't go shop. in the clothes shop. We didn't need a clothes shop. No, and no. then you have your main farm shop, which the butcher can are. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. You know, we love good butchers and the fresh bread and scones. and. Mm. So I think we're going to chill for a little. Dad and then... picked quite a few of them packets up, didn't he? Oh, yeah, we liked his kippers and that. They had <laughs> seafood, everything. So I think we're going to chill for a little bit. And then we will be off to have some lunch. Uh, right. Everything unpacked. Now food time. Nan, we're going to go to the old Ashton. Ashton. Dan's mimicking me because Nan's like, why? Who is she talking to? She's like, the camera. So we're going to go to the Ashton. If you're in like Ashton and uh, Newbiggin area, you'll know what it is. A nice, nice little pub. So yeah, Ashton, off we go. Do you know what you're going to have to eat? You're going to have ribs, chicken. Ribs. Ribs. Maybe. Nan likes her ribs. Ribs. With a glass of wine. But maybe don't have it down later. She'll be getting very, very messy. I'll so. need oh, <laughs> to pick the ribs up. I mean, I always have ribs in me, yeah, freezer. Always. So that's collectible. Well, we did see ribs at the farm shop. I thought maybe we might have seen. That was one thing we didn't actually see. Mm. Ribs. What did they have? Uh, belly pork over on the right? Mm. Spare ribs. Mm. I, I do like a bit of belly pork, but. I, I've got to have my ribs. Ribs. And belly pork. So we know what Nan's going to have when we get there. Right. Back in bug and off where we go.
how away from the church? The church is over there. We have walked the whole width of Newbigon basically. Um, and we've come right down to like, you couldn't get any closer to the rocks than what we are. I mean, heaven, I don't know how I'm going to climb all back up there. Oh. It's going to be a vent and a half. We went to Patoli's and then we found that there's a new little, um, well, I don't know if it is new. I've never walked this far. There's like a little bee pub calf garden at the end here. So that's funky. My hay fever is starting to be a little problematic. I don't know why, because I'm just need to see. But I love the smell of seawater. But yeah, we found bunkers and that we saw a man and his grandson and he said that um, if you get to Newbigan Golf Club and you turn left, then there's, what do you say, concrete blocks? Yeah, like that lot, um, barracks. Oh, okay. So that's like the other part of Newbigan. So I'm like, okay, we can explore that when we're next up. But yeah, it's very calm. Like even to the point where the crystal clear water down here makes you just want to like go and paddle in it. <laughs> Stones at the bottom think, uh, tell me otherwise, though. Nan will be like, why are your feet soaking wet? Well? I'll be like, I went pool paddling. Aye, 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 Shannon. But yeah, we saw a duck. We think it's a duck having a tussle with, we don't know what it was. It was obviously something it was trying to eat. But yeah, it's lovely down here. And I say, I've never walked this far. If you know Newbig and I normally go to, from St. Bartholomew's and then I come up the steps at the bank house, we've literally come the whole way. So yeah. If anyone is from this area or knows any other like scenic paths, please do let us know because we need to start exploring the northeast a lot more. There's so much to do, like Annick, Bambra, all the castles. But yeah, it's actually quite warm. We bought our parka jackets. It started to rain a bit when we was over there, didn't it? But now it's okay. It's so calming. Now we need to make the stairs back up. Nan, I think, will be asleep. When we left her, she was a bit tired, wasn't she? <laughs> She said she had really good fun at the um, farm shop and then she said the dinner, when we got back she said what's the time? I said about 25 past 2, she was like, no, she, che she checked her phone, it's 23 past and she was like, oh my god, and then she was sitting there and then she was dozing so I was like, we're going to go for a walk and probably go for a pie, she was like, okay, see you later, so yeah, we've come out here, it's so lovely, just calming, you know, I don't really want to make all them steps back up, I mean, look, <laughs> but yeah it's nice it's nice to be out here and brogan and liam have just sent a message in our group chat and they're like we get extra brownie points because we've booked a whiskey distillery tomorrow tomorrow and i'm like so Dan is going to be very, very happy because he wants to start collecting his whiskey. So he's got the Eng uh, English, he's got the whiskey from Wales. Now we'll get whiskey from Scotland. So we need to go Ireland. Anyone from Ireland, is there any whiskey distilleries? Is that a thing in Ireland? And then I need to find an English whiskey, but I don't know if we have any in England. He is looking. Can you see him? He's all the way down there. So I'm going to go make sure that you don't end up in the water. But yes, it's absolutely lovely day. As I say, it has been on and off spitting, but it's okay. He's, look, he's probably looking at the fish down there, if there's anything down there. But I'm very accident prone. So the fact that I'm doing this unaided, it says a lot. Oh God, because I'm trying to like, when there's big oh, drops and obviously there's a moss now, I'm like, help. But this moss actually just does look like a hazard to me. So I'm going to stay up here and Dan will be exploring down there. But yeah, see you in a bit. It's a little later and what one do I need? I'm doing the sandwiches for tomorrow now because we're going to be on the road about 7, quarter 7, 7-ish seven, to get up to Brogan and, Brogan and Scotland, Brogan and Leaves. So of course... Nan has got sausage, bacon, and peas pudding. See, girl's happy. I mean, I can't lie. I probably am going to have a bacon and peas pudding roll now. But we're going to make the rest for later. So, you would have seen footage of a little pooch, which is my aunt and uncle's that my nan looks after of an evening. And if you look at that, guys... Nan said she won't be any uh, bother. She genuinely 
isn't she just she's just chilling back there so that is that um nan actually realized that she took dada's crisps so she came in and she said i've got two of the same flavor i was like one of them was dada's but i didn't want to say anything because like if you want them it's fine dad ain't gonna moan um dan's watching the football of which we turned it on and albanian was one new up then they equalised, and now I think it's a... Is it 2-1? Yeah, Italy's 2-1 up. So, yeah, it's been... I don't think I've got much footage from today, basically, because we've just been chilling with Nan and out and about. As I say, you would have seen... What's that you thing? We went to the Ashdeen, the old Ashdeen, and then me and Dan went for a little walk down on like the coastal walk promenade little bit of Newbigham. It weren't bad the walk guys, but I did get all the sand in my feet. And if you know me, that's like a phobia of mine. I don't like sand in shoes in my feet. Like on holiday will be the only time that you will see me without um, like being on a beach with nothing on my feet. If not, like it's not a bit me. Um, but yeah, it was okay. I didn't fall. We didn't break anything. But I think we're definitely looking forward to having the older uh, treats. I mean, I love a farm shop. I'm doing a little bit of exporting. I've got the setup on the go. And you know when you're like in a house that knows you because you walk in and you automatically connect to the Wi-Fi. Like if that's not just goals it's goals it stopped raining as i say it was on and off she looked i would show you guys but nan's locked up but i don't know if you can see there it's nice it's not raining it's okay she's all locked up and uh oh guys a little throwback here to 2015 let's have a look actually i'm not going to move it because it might drop off you see that that's mama g me and nan when we was on a Graceland exhibition, I took Nan up there when they had it at the O2. Um, I went with Mum, and then Nan would come down, and we was like, we'll take Nan as well. So, yeah, it's about what's the time half eight. Yeah, half eight. I'm gonna sort all this shizzle out, and then tomorrow I literally wake up, put my clothes on, put a bit of slack on because we've got a busy day tomorrow. And um, Brogan has sent us an itinerary, and the itinerary is has she got? Let me just pop the light on. The itinerary. She turned the lamp off now. Oh, goodness gracious, guys, she turns everything off already now. Um, itinerary for tomorrow is get there about nine ish. At 10 o'clock, we have a whiskey distillery tour. I don't know if I told you that on the last clip, but yeah, they booked us a whiskey distillery tour. And then I think at 12 or 12 30, we've got lunch. Half two, we've got pools and darts. Then back to Brogan and Liam's for Chef Brogan to cook a meal. And then we're going to have a chilled night in, board games, few little drinks. And then we're going to drive to the Scottish Kelpies at night, which we're looking forward to that, anyway, because that was something we was going to do yeah, last yeah. time. And then bed. And then Monday is Foo Fighters. So we've got a Dishoon breakfast at 11. Then we're off to either the zoo or shopping and garden centres, then back to the house to get change freshened up, head into Glasgow, have a look around, grab some food, concert time, sleep on the way back, crash down, and then we're heading back. But you guys won't see that in this vlog. That will be in a separate, like, whole Edinburgh Foo Fighters vlog. But, yeah, I'll add all, I would have added all the little bits in from the phone before this. But, yeah, it's been a chill thing. We was going to take Nan B&M after, but her legs were hurting her after the farm shop. And I said, I think that was more than enough. I mean, it could have ended up where I took us to the Basildon Garden Centre. It ended up being a spare mower place. So I was hoping it wasn't going to be like that, but it's actually really lovely. It was like, I honestly felt like I was in the Cotswolds with all like the little stone buildings. And I tell you now, that farm shop, they had wood kindlings in there. Like, I had to be framed. I done really good in there. I bought bits from Mum and Dada. Me and Dan got some bits and Nan got some bits. I was really refrained on that, though. I could have spent an absolute fortune, especially on the butcher's bit. Which, as well, um, Brogan's doing, like, a little package for their butchers. Because I was like, I haven't got anything at the house. All I have is an air fryer. So, 
she was like, leave it with me. I'm doing a little hamper. So sent money's over. I was like, just feed me good food. She's like, I gotcha. So yeah, that will all be in the Edinburgh vlog. But yeah, today was nice. And then I say we was going to go to the Endeavour. But Nan was like, oh, what about old Ashton? So we had a little drive down and well, she thoroughly enjoyed her chicken wings and her hunter's chicken. She ate her hunter's chicken and left the chips. So I was like, well, at least she's had the protein of it. Had her glass of wine. And yeah, she was loving her life. We didn't realise it was trooping with the colour today. So that was on when um, we was in the pub. Let me just check the bacon because, oh, that's cooking away nicely. I'm going to focus on this. So I'll probably put you on a time lapse to be perfectly honest, guys. But yeah. I'm going to have one of these rolls now. No? We're going now. What's she looking at? She's like, what is that? It's okay. You've just been put out there while we're going. Everyone with bottle of lemonade, you know, that's the one there. <gasps> oh no, I think we'll be right. It's only a couple of hours to there. So we're all done, all dusted. I've got my sausage, bacon and peas pudding sandwiches, my rolls. Oh, nice. I have to remember the food, that's the most important part. Look, <laughs> they'll be riding front seat with me. <laughs> well, they'll be on Dan's lap, really. I don't know when they last, though. No, that, we've got the whiskey distillery tour at 10 o'clock. Do what? Whiskey tour. So they're going to soak up the whiskey at 10 o'clock. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my, uh, You'll have your Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary you can fun. have that at 10 o'clock. Because <laughs> I'm not that far from there. Oh, and, yes. Uh, and you know who phones us. Oh, yeah. We've got both for Dad. So, I call. No matter what time he's going to phone. You need to be sitting at that phone waiting for him. From 7 o'clock onwards. That's the time. And the only place what he did through the night. <laughs> we'll see. he's phoned on. Boxing was on. Oh, well, I love you, I stayed up for boxing. Aye. But yes, I will give you a belt on Sunday, okay? Mwah. Okay. Oh, you're shrinking. Texas. I'll when take you, you when we walk. get there. No, I'll, I'll take you when we get to Edinburgh awesome. as well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'll message you when. I'll text you when we get to Edinburgh today, and then I'll text you on Tuesday when we're home, yeah? Okay, have a nice Thanks for having us. See you later. Yeah, I've got everything. You sure? Yeah, phone, that upstairs, kitchen's cleared. We've got everything. Okay, See you later. And Love just you. like that, we are going to be on the road for Edinburgh. It's 10 to 7, so we'll have a nice slow drive up there. As I say, you would have just seen now, and we said, Toodle Pip, the rolls are on the dashboard there. Can you see them there? Pride place over Dan's side. I probably shouldn't actually eat them because 
I've not got much lipstick to replace this, but I'm sure they will be getting munched along the way because we need something to soak up the tour. So yes, this vlog I am actually going to end here. There will be an Edinburgh vlog, which as I say will be Edinburgh, Glasgow, Foo Fighters, Whiskey Tour and also the drive to the house. And then what I'll do, you'll either see mum opening her bits at the end of this one or it'll be like in another vlog. But yeah, this was just like a very spontaneous, well it wasn't spontaneous, but it should have been two days. But because of traffic problems, it was the day in the northeast with us. But yeah, definitely found a bargain and a gem with that little farm shop. Mm. I feel like that's going to be somewhere that like, I gravitate towards every time I'm up now. I'll be like, Nan, come on, farm shop time. So, yes, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave me a comment. If you're from the northeast or do you know any parts where I've been waffling on about or any parts of the northeast that we should explore, you've got Hadrian's Wall on your list, haven't you? I want to walk the whole lot. The whole lot, please bear. Please think of me, my lovelies, because that's a long, long place. But take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Right. Bye. It's now Wednesday. <laughs> I'm back at home. I said it'd be a few days, but you already know what's in here. However, I didn't show you what I got in the little bits. So, this was one of the little shops in, it was called Blagdon Farm Shop, but the actual estate, I feel like it was called Milk House or Milk Who's. And oh, honestly, guys, it was lovely. So, if I itch my eyes, my allergies at the moment are whoo, absolutely not doing me any favours but i picked up a mug for me this was the van gogh sunflowers these were 4.99 which i thought was actually really affordable i thought it was nice and cute and what i also saw was the starry night one and if you remember the vlog where i took mum to the van gogh exhibition she loved the starry night one so i'm sure in an upcoming vlog you will see her with this one but yeah i got her a little van gogh mug so hopefully she will be very pleased with that they had a lot of highland cow stuff but as i said in the previous clips i think i can't get highland cow stuff in newcastle because i feel like i will be a traitor to brogan and hamish so no and then i saw these because we love bees and i thought you know what it's something that i can look at and think oh i got them when i was with nan and dan we've got a little this is a resting spoon i feel and a little tea bag cozy this was $3.99 and this was $1.99. Guys, I don't know what's happened since I've been Wales in Scotland, but I have not stopped sneezing. And I'm like, I was fine before I went into the countryside. But yeah, the mugs were $4.99. That was $3.99 and $1.99. And then these were six for £2. And they are dessert knife forks. And I just thought, you know what? I've got all the cutlery for the house, except that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, I was like, mm, you're coming straight away with me. That's mum's mug, that's my mug. And then, as I say, with the farm shop, we have got Dada's bag of crisp back because, as you would have seen, Nan remembered that, um, <laughs> actually, she took Dad's bag of uh, crisp as well. So, he's got a bag of crisp, and I have a bag of crisp. Me and Dan need to try this heather honeycomb which i think you'll probably see in a vlog upcoming we'll keep it for a special thing actually we'll probably keep most of this for a special thing because we've got crackling cannot wait to try the crackling we've got a mustard for us and a mustard for dada and then of course we got the grumpy old git mints and genuine geordie black bullets which are like I think mint sweets so yeah oh and these these definitely won't be for a vlog because you'd have seen these before and I demolished these these you will get at like every single farm shop um any like countryfied fresh produce warehouse like these creme de la creme so yeah that was everything as I say that we got when we was at New Biggin. we done good we done good I mean I can't lie I absolutely love the um, bag. <laughs> That's a big selling point for me. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end this vlog out, which actually, I think I already ended. Did I end? Or have I just jumped in? I feel like I've already ended the new big and vlog. Yes, I have. So if you've stayed around till the end, because if you're someone who, when I do my buy, click off, you're missing it. You're actually missing it. But yes, this is the end. This is a little sneak peek. Um, I'm now going to be in the same get up 
and film what I got at Edinburgh because we got a few bits at Edinburgh. Actually, before I do, I need to get out my Foo Fighters t-shirt. So yes, I'm actually wrapping this one up properly now. I would have already said goodbye, but here I am again, looking a lot worse than the last clip you would have seen me in. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. Do you love a good farm shop? Are you like me and get suckered in by absolutely everything? But take care, stay safe as always, and stay tuned because the Edinburgh vlog will be coming very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.